Jesse, let us know what you do. Like if you know, let us know what you do, what your services are. Just let us let our audience know. Okay, so I am a psychic medium, relationship specialist, and energy healer. So I use my natural born gift yeah. to help men um, navigate through the healing process because everybody has a story. So we we navigate through their story and through the healing process to make their relationships because ultimately our entire world is encapsulated in relationships. So if we don't have a good foundation, then nothing else can really build from that. So that's what we do. We, we heal, we grow, we learn new tactics and new tools to make things more effective and efficient and happier. Okay. That makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm really intrigued by what it is that you yeah. do. Like there's, there's multiple levels to what you're doing right now that I find super intriguing. Um, and, and we're probably going to bombard you with questions because <laughs> we've talked about this yeah. interview for quite some time. And I think all of us are coming into it with a different kind of like energy and excitement. So, you know, just dial us back a little bit if we become a little too overwhelming for you. OK, so, you know, <laughs> no, my, my okay. apologies for that. So, you know, what? I guess let's start with the medium piece. Like um, what took place that uh, I guess helped you understand that you were in connection with something a little deeper than maybe the, 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 the standard person? Um, ultimately, it was my own personal relationships that hit rock bottom. Oh. Um, you know, there was divorce, there was kids in the mix, there was, you know, my career was kind of falling apart. And I really felt like I had hit this bottom of identity crisis. Yeah. And I just thought, there's got to be more to this because this can't be it. You know, I'm like, in my mid thirties and I've, there's gotta be more to life than what I'm feeling right now. Right. So I actually started to meditate. So I started meditating and as I'm meditating and time's going on, I start seeing things and I start hearing things and I'm like, well, that's not normal. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if, does everybody experience this? Yeah. So I got in touch with a, a spiritual uh, mentor and I started asking her questions and I'm like, well, what's going on? She's like, you are a very strong medium. And I was like, okay, well, you have to explain to me what this is. Yeah, yeah. Did it freak you I out? I didn't know a ton about it okay. um, yeah. five years ago. But I've developed properly. I hired help. And, um, yeah, I, I just kind of went along with it. It's funny, though. As the story started to unfold and I started to talk openly about what I was experiencing, my family started to talk about it, that – there's multiple people in my family who are the same way, but no one's ever said anything. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it runs in the genes. Yeah. I see. Yeah, I it see. does. Yeah. So they let me kind of take the brunt of the. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Uh, how many, how many uh, siblings do you have? How many what? Siblings. Oh, I just have one. Just one. Just I one. have a brother. A brother. Yeah. Okay. I was just curious. Just, yeah, just curious to know if. Okay. Uh, does he come to you for personal advice or is he married or or what's that like? He is married and he's older than I am. Okay. Uh, but he does come to me for advice, but it's more along the lines of the mediumship. Okay. Because okay. he too can feel things and sense things, but he hasn't developed. So he's kind of, you know, trying to like tiptoe and to see what this world is all about and I must be the only one that just ran headfirst into it. And I was like, just bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know everything you've got. Bring it on. <laughs> gotcha. So, so you said in your family, it's been, it's been going on for like what generation to generation Did your mom was, was she a medium that didn't explore it as much as you? It was actually my dad. Oh, your dad. Okay. It was my dad. And, um, so it was my dad and then his father and it went back way back and we kind of dug through a bit and it's been suppressed for about 60 years. Mm, wow. um, people just didn't talk about it. You know, we had, I come from a very strong Christian background. Okay. And it was just kind of like very taboo. You don't talk about it. You don't explore it. You just, you just kind of, you know, push it under the rug and act like it doesn't yeah. exist. Yeah. And I wasn't okay with that. I wanted to know what it was about. I wanted to know why I was different. So, so are you the rebel in the family? Maybe a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Tad bit. I'm just getting rebel vibes. I'm just uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know that would be like a definitely, um, I can see why it'd be a conflict, uh, maybe not, well, of interest, because in the Bible it does mention the psychics. It, it warns people to stay away from psychics or witches mm -hmm. and whatnot because, uh, 
you know, they say a lot of their stuff comes from, you know, the devil, the demons and whatnot. So it's kind of looked down upon. So I can see why it's probably been suppressed, especially if you guys have a strong uh, Christian background. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, it, so we've we dug back quite a ways yeah. and we started to build the family tree on like ancestry. Yeah. And we went back as far as the 1600s trying wow. to put the pieces together and figure out who's who and what can they do? Where did this all come from? Yeah. Mm hmm. You know, sometimes like the the harder you try to run away from something is the the greater the impact it just has on your everyday living. Sometimes you just have to embrace it, right? And so you mentioned kind of when you were going through the early phases of it, like you were hearing things and experiencing things. And then I think you saw it like, you know, uh, I don't know if we'll call it the spiritual sensei, <laughs> for lack of better words, I'm sorry. But did that kind of like freak you out a little bit? Like, oh, you know, be, before you saw it that additional guidance like what were you thinking at that time it was like is, is you know were you like is something wrong with me like what am I experiencing right now yeah I mean honestly I would start conversations with my mom because as things were happening I would call my parents mm -hmm. and you know I'm in my 30s and I would call my parents and they'd be like what is going on you're gonna think I'm crazy and almost every conversation started with you're going to think I'm crazy <laughs> <laughs> because I really felt like that and I thought nobody else at that time no one else had said it that they had experienced anything so I felt like the loner that you know I sit okay so here is my my dirty secret about how I started to meditate. Mm. I have two kids and it's never quiet in my house. So where do you go to meditate? I go in my closet. <laughs> I close the door and I turn the lights off. <laughs> Wherever works. Yeah. No judgment here. There's zero judgment here. Some okay. folks use the bathroom so yeah. in, in the shower. Oh, yeah. Lightly like, yeah. the, like the bathroom door and go into the shower. Or, yeah, but the closet is good too. Yeah, how long was your meditation session um, normally take place? In the closet? <laughs> In the closet. Well, I don't do that anymore. I've graduated. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> She's like, I promoted to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> right. Cool. Right. No, they started off about five, ten minutes, and then it just kind of progressed. But now I can meditate, you know, five, ten minutes, or I can meditate for an hour. It just really depends on what my intention is, what I'm focusing on, really what I need. Yeah. Um, sometimes I just go into a meditation and just wait mm -hmm. for guidance to just come through, and it never fails. It always does. Really? Have you ever used anything to help with your meditation, like ayahuasca or something like that? I use crystals. Okay. I okay. I'm a, a big fan of crystals, um, but that's it. Okay. Okay. I've actually uh, come into contact with a couple of folks as of recently, and um, they're helping to educate me on the power of uh, certain crystals and, you know, some of the energies that they carry. It's very deep. I had no idea. It's like mm -hmm. you turn the page and you realize, like, wait a minute, this isn't a page. This is a book. It runs yeah. very, yeah. very deep and exciting stuff. Um, so I guess I'm curious, like, um, as you've kind of gone through this journey of your trials and tribulations of uh, where you were versus where you are now, and I'm not going to ask you to give away all your goodies because there's a reason that you have this service, right? But um, – I have to believe that maybe meditation is part of one of the things that you maybe recommend for some of your clients. Is that a fair statement? It is absolutely. Yeah. Um, so one of the first questions that I ask somebody that comes to me and says they need help is, do you meditate? Have you ever experienced a meditation? Mm -hmm. Because it is so powerful in what I do. So to connect with somebody on a spiritual, on a deeper level it's helpful that they at least know the basis of what it's about and how it works. And I do actually teach meditation for people who maybe don't want to go into a full one-on-one, -on -one, you know, client program with me, yeah. but they just want the the benefits of what meditation is all about. I've tried it. It's difficult. It requires a certain level of uh, focus and discipline and quiet space, which I have very little of, but I'm working on that. So Dude, they're, they're um, you ever heard the, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut. You ever heard the the, the uh, Master Key book? Uh, Master Key, you ever heard of that? It's by uh, Honnell, so. Honnell, uh, uh, Charles Honnell. So anyway, it's supposed to be like this process you do for like 26 weeks, and it's supposed to teach you the process, the, um, you know, the, the science between, you know, a meditation. So you imagine like a ship or a wall, and the most deafening noise, I don't know if you ever noticed, is quietness. It's like, it's the loudest sound ever, you know? No, I, you don't it, think it, when it's silent, it's like louder than anything. Not for me. 
No. I think the toughest no. thing is shutting off my mind. That's what I have a yeah, problem yeah, yeah. with. Like, in order to take in the silence, I usually have to try and find a way to silence my mind, and that that's where the problem comes in. Exactly. I may have to like solicit your services. I don't have. <laughs> I, 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 I have to see. I don't know. I don't know if I fall. I, I don't. I'll, we'll we'll have to discuss what what that looks like. You know, for the meditation piece. But I may I may need to I may need some professional because I'm struggling. <laughs> I need, I'm desperately struggling on my own. There's I no definitely need it. that, Jess. So you go by Jesse or Jess, which which. Is cool. Jess is cool or is it? Yeah, either one. Cool. All right. So Jess, um, speaking of, um, what made you get into this 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 uh, this niche? Um, you know, as far as being uh, a service provider for high valued men, and that's the term that's going around now. That's why we sent you that question because the term now is high valued man. I know it's successful, but it seems to be the what the algorithms are picking up these days. <laughs> It's the Google algorithm. I like that term, high value. High value value man. High value. That's right. High value targets. Yeah, yeah, exactly. High value, a high valued man. Absolutely. (laughs) It kind of covers everything. I like it. Right, right. So how did I get into this? Um, Actually, I got a download and a meditation. Um, Like I said, I I kind of knew that this was where things would eventually end up. I just Mm -hmm. didn't know when, how, what the the building process was going to be. And I just sat back and waited for the right messages to come through. And Mm -hmm. they did. And... What I knew from from the beginning was, yeah. you know, the most successful men at the top of their game that have put so much time, energy, and effort into building their career and their success are also the loneliest people on the planet. Mm. And if you're in this position to, you know, essentially run the world in your expertise, then why would we allow you or want you to be the loneliest person? We want you to be the most connected person because you have such an impact on the rest of the world. Agreed. And why do you think they are the most loneliest people? Because I think they're surrounded by so many people. You know, when you're at the top of your game, you have assistants and you have so many people that work for you and you have all of these people around you for different reasons. They want something and they need something here and they expect a lot of you. But where is the true connection? I think there's a massive disconnection between what they feel is appropriate to share with all of these people and what will be well received. Mm. So what so about they just keep it to themselves? It's a very good so take. so what about like personalities like introverts, extroverts? How does that play into uh, your helping someone? I know this is going to sound like really strange, but I'm a massive introvert. <laughs> Really? Yeah, really? I was wondering I, I was wondering about that. Ah. Mm. I am. I am. Um, but that it really doesn't matter. If you're willing to put in the work, it doesn't matter which personality type is, you know. If you're if you're willing to reach out for help and, and it's funny because I've actually reached out to certain men that I knew um just needed help. Johnny so I reached Depp. out to them. John, Johnny Depp. <laughs> he does need my help, doesn't he? <laughs> he needs your help. <laughs> oh, yeah, he needs that. He, he needs. needs <laughs> I think so. He needs you. Yeah. It's legal help. He needs every Johnny. Help. We'll help you. Yeah. You got Jesse here for you. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Um, yes. Uh, <laughs> so I'm curious. You know, in this space, is the what the services you provide? Is that something that uh, is that a space where there's a lot of competition, or do you feel like the services that you provide now? I understand. You as a person and what you do is unique, but, you know, in that space, uh, are you dealing with other uh, competitors kind of offering the same services? I love this question because I have never found one person that does exactly the same thing that I do. Wow. Nice. Okay. I love that question because that gives me the chance to kind of like say I'm the one and only. (laughs) Yeah, I would say you're no cookie cutter. So you're, you're the unicorn. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm a unicorn. I'm a unicorn. How about that? Uh, do you think that, uh, you know, you being a female has helped in this space? Like, do you think it's easier for men to speak yeah. with men? Or uh, do, you, do you believe that, you know, you being a female and being able to not only share uh, your services and your skill set, but also maybe provide perspective as a female has kind of helped you um, in your dealings with men? I think it's helped, um, uh. and I. This is what I found is that most men feel more comfortable being vulnerable mm-hmm. with a female because you kind of have that motherly instinct, and there's really no judgment. You yeah. know, it's just it's open and it's free and it's just safe. So I have found that the men that come to me 
or that the men I've worked with have been incredibly comfortable because mm-hmm. I'm female. Yeah. There's no competition there. Oh, I can I can understand that. That's like, you know, me going to Reg and be like, man, Reg, I'm having a tough day. You're like, man, suck it up. We got a show to do. <laughs> I would, for the record, I would not. <laughs> no, no, I would, no, I would wouldn't. not. But, but, you know, men, sometimes we have like this undertone, like my cheese smoke element, you know. Do. And, you know, as far as mm-hmm. vulnerability, it, it feels That makes like, sense. You know, so it, that's why I was curious. Yeah, I can that. see that makes sense because you, you don't feel judged. Yeah. So that's what right. it is. So I can see why you're saying free because you're like, you know, at the end of the day. And, and you know what? You have like a, a good aura yeah, about you. Great. So energy. it's like, oh, you, you know, we came, we, you know, we came here with our, uh, as the, our people know, we have our technical difficulties. So yeah, it took like a good 30 minutes. I for have us to, no idea what you're talking about. Right. It took us a good 30 <laughs> minutes to get stuff straight. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> but, and you, you know, your patience, I was like, oh man, she's like, and then you come on and we're like, oh, she's going to be pissed. We're like, X amount no, of time, it. and we come on, and you're like, boom, sunshine. Here comes this, sun. <laughs> no. like you know, your energy, like, oh man, she's you're. Yeah. It's very welcoming, so I can it see is. you not having um, trouble having you know with your clients opening up to you because it's like well, instant like trust. You know what I mean? Yeah. If that makes sense, I appreciate that because uh, that is a. I mean, that's a big part of what I do. You have yeah, to yeah. trust me to open up to me, right? Yeah. yeah. So without giving away all the goodies, um, if you what what can you clients expect when they when they reach out to you trying to solicit your services right like if you can give us like a basic walkthrough of what the the experience or maybe the the, the expectations the consultation let's do the consultation right. let's do like you know so let's do a mock up with Ray like a, like Ray is someone seeking you or you seeking Ray because I don't I don't know how it would work and and just just the role play so yeah. if, if I'm calling Jess and Jess I need your help and. No, no. So it'd be me. Oh, Jeff. Yeah, I'd be like, Ray, yo, you know what? You need, you need love, man. And you, you know, you're successful, bro. Life's a mess. But you know, here, here's call this, Jess. Here's this Jess. You know, she's she was on Bro Rand's podcast. She, she was, was awesome. You okay. need to call her. So I call up <laughs> Jess, and you call up Jess, and then go. What? What action? What happens once once uh, Ray reaches? No, out I would. To you, I would. Just, yeah, I would see the role play. I just. I just want to see how it would be. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just curious. Just, put, just putting right, you on Ray, the spot. Okay. No problem. <laughs> she's, she's, she's like, like Ray, you're up. Like, Ray, you're up. <laughs> Damn. She's all about that business. Ray, you're up. So, I, so ring, ring, ring. Jess, this is Ray. <laughs> Hi, Ray. <laughs> well, you don't even say you're, you're. So, listen, I, um, a friend of mine named Reggie referred me to you. He asked that, uh, he said that I needed help. I needed to find some love. So, uh, can you help me with that? <laughs> Absolutely. Let's get to the core of what's going on. So how are you feeling? What's going on? I, Why do you think you need love? I feel lonely. I feel like I can't find the right person in my life. Mm, okay. All right. So we're going to dive a little bit deeper. Okay. What is it about you that you feel like you can't find the right person in your life? I, what's your contribution to this? I would, Ooh. My like contribution this. to me uh, failing or not finding the right person? For you not attracting the right person. Ooh, love uh. attraction, love attraction. I like Listen, it. Listen, we don't I want like to it. give away like all it. her tricks, right? Like This, <laughs> see, this, 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 this is just attraction. a teaser for like so, anyone listening. So, I like it. I see where she's, I see where she's going. Go ahead, I know. Go ahead. So I would say that due to uh, my lifestyle in the past as far as being someone named JT, um, it has attracted the wrong type of women in my life. <laughs> you really brought up JT. You really did. <laughs> or just I know you're new. Really you're, you're, you're new on this, <laughs> Jess, <laughs> but JT is basically raised. It's, 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 it's a, it's a uh, fictional alter ego. That's all it is. That that we That's only all. hear about. But she's on not qualified to do he's, that. He's never she didn't have a couch. Him. Well, this is. This, <laughs> she's not qualified for that, bro. We were just keeping it <laughs> no, no, purely no. successful. No, nope. let, let me be serious. Let me okay, be serious. cool. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, role play. So. Actually, I just feel like uh, the reason I haven't found the right woman in my life is because I, I haven't I haven't really opened myself up to women fully. I haven't given them like uh, who I really truly am, and I just uh, um, I would say um, I would say that when it comes to meeting someone, I'm not being my true self. I like that. Fair statement. Absolutely fair statement. Okay. So let me ask you this. What is your relationship with your mother? Uh, It's wonderful, in in my opinion. (laughs) So you've had a good influence, a a good female influence. The thing about it is this. So our relationship was great. 
um, in my opinion. But I think from an outside viewpoint, it wouldn't look great because it wasn't a real affectionate relationship. Mm. So even though. Which could be why you feel less connected to females now. Well, for many years, I was never, uh, I wasn't a compassionate person or empathetic because I didn't know how to be. I thought I was because from what I saw in my family, it, the compassion was just you would make a comment and that would be it. And the person had to accept what your comment was rather than the actions itself. You wouldn't, like, if I if I told someone that I loved them, yeah. there sometimes wouldn't be a hug or holding the hands or the, the small things. It would just be, I told you I love you. You know that, right? And versus me going the extra. I'm sorry, Chas. I'm about- I know it here. Boy, come here and get this hug. Boy, come get this hug. Leave you, man. You might have make me tear up. Listen, uh, I love. uh, So the the one, the one thing about the three of us, Jess, I'll tell you, (laughs) Ray is. um, Even though I know he probably feels like he's he's not, he is very vulnerable and honest about where he's at, where he's been. (laughs) what he's going through and we love him for it. Like that's, that's the component of like this trio that just, it works really well. But the thing is we can't have her give all her tricks away. Right. We're and not I, having and I'm not this is a consultation. Tricks. No, we this is a consultation. Have, Jeff, yeah, Jeff is right. It's, 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 it's not. not. Okay. This is a consultation. No, so it's, this is not, the thing. you know, you told me that she's yourself, giving me like, like you, you told me yourself, like there's no greater, um, there's no greater flattery than imitation. Right. And even though you said it, you were mad because people watched your show. Who's he talking about? Doing what you were doing. Me? Same thing. <laughs> you know about me, dude? Jesse, you know Yo. that. You know that. Like after today, there's gonna Not be like even six like people that. that's taking out five questions. Like what were the questions she asked to get in this order? No, no, no. Like, but it was a consultation. Me, Listen, to me, right, I so can that tell they call me it's and they're gonna be like, "Well, that's not what you asked those guys." Right. <laughs> oh wow. I know, right? She was like, she was like, "Yeah, I just gave them all the crap." But no, see, no, it was a consultation. I just wanted to hear. How it was going. I mean, Ray, and you really open. But to think about it, though, it would be different for every person. Yeah. Every, every person would be. It would, yeah. Every, per, every person would, would be unique because yeah. no two no. people, we, we're, we may be similar, but we're not the same. Oh, no, no. Absolutely. No, I mm-hmm. completely get that. But this, this, all I wanted to see was, was basically how it went. Like, basically, you told her this, and then she says, well, we can, you know, we can start here and go from there well, or what to expect from her services. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, That's all. She, she didn't have to give it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have to give up He the cracks service. himself up <laughs> <laughs> you know, It really does She doesn't have to give <laughs> You know what I'm saying right Exactly She doesn't have to give up the yeah. goods yeah. You said goodies It's all good. Yes She didn't have to give all that up All I'm saying is I just want to see how it would go But you know How she would say This is our plan And this is what About what you can expect From her services Okay But like because I said, I don't, Every single person is different So yeah. the approach for every single client Is going to be different Be a little right. different Absolutely yeah. So I guess I have a a question for you. You know, in the people that you work with, are there common themes as to uh, maybe why, what leads to their loneliness? Like, do you see, especially because you're working with a a particular group of, of men, do you see like consistent themes sometimes with them as far as the reasons why they are potentially lonely? I have. I mean, if you're going to go on the realm of celebrities, let's just talk about those guys, right? right? Um, There is a massive commonality between so many of them that, you know, they go into fame and fortune at super young age and they're influenced by all of these, I'm just going to say negative, impactful things that they don't even know how to handle. So they're thrown into this world at so vulnerable and immature they're thrown into this world and here, go make millions of people happy, make them smile, make them adore you. Maybe that's more, you know, more than they expected, more than they can actually handle emotionally. Mm-hmm. So every single person that I work with tends to have emotionally intelligence that's just not fully matured yet. That's mm-hmm. just They just don't get it. They don't know how to make themselves happy. Therefore, they can't make anyone else happy because you can't pour from an empty cup. Ah. Yeah, because uh, it's taken me many years as well. Like when you just say uh, emotionally uh, immature, it took me many years to figure that I was that as well. As far as yeah. being emotionally immature, um, it, it just took time to see that. Like I didn't know. I wasn't even aware. So. And it's not just men. I mean, females are just as 
you know, just the same. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. they are. I agree. I agree. But, <laughs> you know, I, I do enjoy working with the men because they are the ones that they, they need that open connection to express themselves and to build the foundation to say, hey, this is how I feel and take it or leave it without feeling like they're going to lose their job or lose the contracts or, you know, the movie, whatever it is that they do. <laughs> Okay. And, and and another thing too is men. Uh, I think what is it? I, I don't I forgot the statistics, but I know they e either we lead in suicide or not for mental health. Yeah, men men, men, men. Lead, lead in that, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we're silent. We keep everything within. So I can see um, what you were talking about them being the loneliest people on earth, the successful people. Just just imagine. I mean, us not even on that level. We have our mental issues. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, even I feel lonely sometimes. Um, you know, you just don't feel like someone relates to you. You know what I mean? Even in your household, you're like, gosh, you know, I have a household full of girls. So it's like, they don't relate, <laughs> uh, you know, but you just, um, you know, you hold things within and you, and I think we've been raised to not talk about a lot of our internal stuff for the fact that it might be, it, it might come off as weak or I, I don't know. I just always put people first or other people needs ahead of mine. So I can see, um, like you were saying, speaking on that as far as how you see the need to reach out to men because it's more they're more vulnerable when asked. I guess if you asked a guy how they're doing and really sat there and and listened, you'd you'd get a lot out of them. You peel back the layers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah a lot you, of times, a lot of times you're just getting something on the front because it's yeah. like, well, I'm not going to get into that. You yeah, know? yeah. So it's like I psych it up. Hey, everything's great, and you keep it moving when. You know, maybe a world's falling apart. Abs absolutely. And I think men are so simple. I think we are, I keep saying it, but we are very simple. Um, speaking of simplicity, like what have you noticed is the common denominator that men, successful men want in a partner? What would Ooh, you call it if you would have said? Yeah. The most common denominator, they want freedom. Freedom. So they want the freedom to express themselves, okay. but still be seen as who they are. Mm. Is that freedom to because have? How often, it, just say you guys would express yourself and then you sit back and you're like, yeah, they're judging me right now. That's exactly what you don't want. Mm. You want to be able to speak openly and freely about, especially when it comes to something like emotions. You mm -hmm. want to be able to say how you feel wow. without feeling like that's going to be used against you later on. Wow. You know what? That actually this makes some makes sense. sense. Yeah. You, because you, you, you mean Twitter? <laughs> no. <laughs> Twitter. But you know what? It makes sense because even even with our tones, I know we spoke that, you know, you spoke in, about that too, right? Like even with our our partners, our, our wives and, and, and girlfriends and whatnot, right? That if we, uh, if we're too vocal, too vocal or, or we're too, uh, it may come off aggressive. So we have to kind of like always consciously think how we're projecting or, or, or how we sound to our mate, to our, our coworker, to whomever. Yeah, because I, we think that, I think that door swings both ways. I, you know, I think that. Mm -hmm. No, but I think women. Females also like, you know, I, I don't in know, some man. instances I feel like it might even be a little worse with women because, you know, not only is it the. The mental piece of it, like there's this, there's physical expectations sometimes as far as what you think the world wants you to look like or what you should look like. So yeah, I, can, I think I think that door swings both ways. But you know what, Jeff? But that door swings both ways too, because how many times do you see celebrities, men included, yeah. that look or act a certain way because that's what sells, right? Even if right. that's not who they Ooh, are. That's a good point. Now that, then that creates a lot of emotional baggage. Yeah. So it's tough, right? Because if that is what driving the money you know what it's almost like you have to you have to move in that lane or if you're going to step outside of it you have to do that with the confidence of like this is who i am and people need to appreciate me so i'm curious you brought that up in your field that old saying of more money more problems do you find that to be true especially in the relationship space absolutely that's crazy isn't it yes. like yeah. It is. You have the flexibility you to think come that and go. money makes things easier right. and happier, but it doesn't. Wow. Because they still have the same problems. They just have the on a different caliber. Okay. Yes, yeah. I've heard that before. Yes. Is there a clown that you wouldn't take? She's like, yeah, you guys. Well, deep side. Deep. She's like, yeah, I'm you three. To be nice deep, here. Deep, deep, <laughs> deep side. After our session. Yeah. 
after our consultation, she was you like, "You cannot offend us. Right, you cannot hey, offend no, us." Actually, you know, we we no. Actually, I have not come across anyone that I wouldn't take. But here's where my Mm-mm. natural gift comes in. Okay. Because I have a the ability to read them yeah. energetically and kind of get to where their intentions are. Yeah. Okay. Before they even say anything. Gotcha. Wow. Okay. Speaking of that, so did you read us before you you decided to do this podcast? Not I know you okay, did. She had to. I did not. Okay. But I did look you up on YouTube. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I looked this up on YouTube. Oh, no. snap. <laughs> now, I'm curious about your gift. Is it something that uh, someone has to be in person for you to kind of get that feel for their energy? Or, like, even in a situation like now, you can kind of get, uh, I don't even know what to call it. Like, you know, you, you kind of. Get the vibe. It's a vibe. It's, it's, it's a frequency. Energy. It's energy. Yeah. It is a vibe. Yeah. And no, I don't. I need to be in person with them. In fact, most of what I do is online through Zoom. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. So the only time I need to be in person is if I'm actually reading like a building or a place. Okay. So I do read people yeah. 90% of the time, but I also read objects and photos. I love to read photos. Oh, really? really? Um, Why is that? Yeah, I, tell us. Because there's so much history. Yeah. There's mm-hmm. such a story behind the photo. So the photo captures the energy taken at that time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you get to feel like what these people were going through and what... <laughs> What did they see? What did they experience? I bet you did. I, <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? You know, you know, people being pictures like, yeah. Oh, you know. <laughs> so, is that one of your requirements? Like, hey, you, you tell the uh, celeb, not celebrity, you tell the uh, client to send you a pic. No, you don't do that. No, oh, you I just don't. read it when, but you you look them up like on social media and you get that feel anyway, right? You do your research. Well, so this terms. is the funny thing about um, celebrity clients. Or anybody, or any client, or any client. Any client? Yeah, yeah, so, that's what I'm saying. No, right? I just kind of get the feel when we, when we connect, when we talk on Zoom, yeah. because you're still talking to them you yeah. know, in real time. So you can pick up on their energy, just like I could pick up on your energy right now. Yeah. What, oh, you pick, what so, are you picking up? Dude, I don't have a reader, dude. Ray, she's, just, Ray. <laughs> she's picking up on Ray dude, needs help. She's like piercing through her soul right now. No, <laughs> she's doing, you can just feel it. She was that's, like, yo, as soon as she said it, you should be quiet. I was like, no, don't even ask your that's, breath. That's the, fun, that's the fun part. Yeah, Ray's she's like, like, tell me. I was like, no, yeah. I'm like, hell no, don't tell me. Yeah, Ray's like, tell me. I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> I don't want to know about them bodies in the backyard. <laughs> We're good. Um, no, we'll leave that for the next time. Okay. There you go. Sounds exactly. Good. Good. <laughs> exactly. So I'm curious. Have you come across a person or a place or a picture that uh, whatever you picked up on it was like almost like overwhelming, maybe even uncomfortable? Um, like, does that happen often or at all? It doesn't happen often, but it has happened. Um, I actually was it wasn't a it was in a meditation. But okay. it wasn't with a person who was alive. Okay. So it was someone who had passed. Mm-hmm. And when the energy came through, it came through as a female energy, which feels completely different. Okay. Um, but then, you know, I opened up to this person and which, I mean, they technically they're not a person. But <laughs> I opened up to them. And then afterwards, I realized it was a man. But if you have to come through... As a different energy. There's something a little yeah. bit wrong with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because you're not coming through with good intentions exactly. or like a good message in that. So I just quickly cut it off. I, I heard what he had to say, cut it off, and that was it. Yeah, okay. I was, I would, it's scary. So oh. wait, yeah, yeah. So this is, that's weird. I know it is, but it was, yeah. this was a client or this was so, just ghost, right? This was just a spirit? So hold on. It was just a spirit, yeah. Oh, wow. Do you do, uh, I was going to be like, do you do paranormal activity stuff? Because oh, okay. we <laughs> like that. We like that. Yeah. Uh, I okay, so I do like to read buildings, and yeah. I actually will be reading a an old castle in Pennsylvania. Really that's cool. Month. See, yeah. see, we should have her back on for that because cool. that's yeah. really cool. You like record things and whatnot, like the use. The, oh, I haven't um, done it yet. Oh, so you've never done. It? You, are we, we going to use? The, so you're going to use like a recorder, probably, right? Yeah, as you can uh, see, you've I touched don't know. on. I haven't actually thought about you've it. You've touched on red. No, I, place. this is like, my happy place, dude. Yeah. No, we've uh, <laughs> like, we've interviewed <laughs> paranormal excited. investigators before. I love it. I love paranormal activities. We, we've been interviewed some paranormal investigators before. Okay, so I'm not a paranormal investigator, but let me ask you this: Are the ones that you have interviewed or spoken to? Yeah. Are they mediums? Do no. they have a personal connection to the spirit world? Okay. It's different. So, the ladies from. Uh, Paranormal, uh, is that Massachusetts? Yeah, remember it's, they're it's not mediums. P I N E, remember? Yeah, Pine. yeah P- New England. Piney. Yeah, 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 Piney. yeah, yeah. They're not mediums, but um, what's her name? The blonde. Which, 
<laughs> the blonde. That's me. Right. <laughs> Not you. But the, the one, hey. Was she a medium? Don't you do that, sir. Was she a medium? <laughs> don't you, yo, you keep referencing her, and you know what? Don't do that. Because if she does, she probably tangles in the arts and shit. No. Stop. We had great people that have been on our shows. I was that, thankfully. No, dude, was. but <laughs> you setting us up for a hex. No. She was a great. We had a great person. And she was wonderful. I don't know if she was a medium, but she did feel like she, I think she heard her grandfather's spirit or her dad's spirit. I have no clue. But we're leaving that alone, right? <laughs> leaving that alone. Please. Okay. Uh, yeah. Another subject, another yeah. question. Then. No, no, another uh, question. <laughs> but no, when you do that, definitely record it. When you do that, definitely record that. And um, I mean, if you want to ever come back on our show and stuff, you know. So, top I three. Wish come back. See, I mean, cool. It's top three bucket list clients that you would love to have. Ooh, okay. Top three. Oh, gosh. Or you can it's do a good one, right? Yeah, or top a really five. good one. Uh, okay, I'm going to do this. One, two, three. I was going to say that. Oh, my God. I was going to like, <laughs> no pressure. Look like if you. Uh, 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 uh. Well played, ma'am. Well played. <laughs> well played. Yeah. Other, other, other than the bro rants, guys. Other than us. Because I'm the only one on here that's single, so. Yeah. <laughs> but that's just the thing. I suspect your services aren't just for, uh, you know, men that are lonely it sounds like you even provide like healing services as well is that Absolutely. is that accurate yeah yeah okay. that's accurate and the the part that most people miss about what i do is when we start working together the yeah. whole foundation of what we do starts with learning to love yourself mm. because you can't love anyone else until you fully accept who you are in all aspects of who you are the good the bad the ugly the the past the present the future it doesn't matter you have to accept who you are entirely learn to love yourself entirely before you can fully give yourself to anyone else. I mean, you're not actually going to give yourself to someone else, but you can't even love them the way that they deserve to be loved until you love yourself the way you deserve it. Wow. Mm. Yeah, that's true. It's deep. Yeah. That's true. I mean, we don't do that. No, I'm serious. It is deep. We don't do that. I mean, we, we really don't. Mm. Uh, no, most men don't. Yeah. I said, like because I said, we're givers. Just shut it down. Yeah, yes. exactly. No, but yeah, every, that's very true. I, I shut it down. Yeah. I, no, we, I we, have shut it down. We know, JT. We know. So <laughs> I'd, I'd like to see. I'd like to peel back a layer, maybe do something, ask a question that's a little personal. So uh, I guess, what is that conversation like when you are speaking to someone, and, and I don't know your current status, so this could be, you know, past, present, future, but what is that conversation like when you're maybe meeting someone for the first time um, and they ask you what you do? Like, what does that conversation sound like? Oh, uh, it's always awkward. I will, it's always <laughs> That's why I'm <awkward>. curious. <laughs> yeah, when people say, people what do you like, do for what? a living? And I'll say, I'm a psychic medium. And they're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. You know, and then they, they automatically assume, like right then and there, yeah. I'm like peering through their soul right. and trying to figure out who they right. are at the yeah, core yeah. of them. And run. <laughs> they run. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm like, oh, you do that? Oh, it was pleasure. It was nice. Uh, it was right, nice right. You. Check, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine? Yeah, most people oh. become like really shut down by it. Sk- or they're one of two ways. They're yeah. either massively intrigued and they want to know everything about everything, mm-hmm. or they are scared to death and they just bolt. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, like, I know as far as being a medium or a psychic uh, or a kind of aware, is it's not a switch you turn on. It it's things just hit you, right? Yes. So you can't meet someone and be like, "Hey, just give me the lot of numbers, give me this, whatever." And, hey, is my spouse doing this? You just like, "Hey, it comes to me." Like, um, you can turn it off and on because you would intentionally open up to them. Okay. Yeah. But, you know, here's a good story. So I was in the grocery store a few months ago, and I'm, I'm with my kids, and I'm just walking through the grocery store, mm-hmm. and I see this this lady walking towards yeah. me, thought nothing of it. And as soon as she gets, like, within close eye contact, I hear, you know, something very personal about her. And I looked at her, and she was looking at me, and I thought, oh, God, not right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But stuff like that happens. But for the majority of the time, you have to intentionally open up to them in, in their energy to yeah. really read them. So, because uh, we're nosy as shit, uh, what was the personal thing that you, you, you uh, got? And did you actually walk up to her and tell her? Hey, she, I did we, not. You did not? What was it? What Dude, was that's it? That's weird. But then no. she can tell us then. I mean, I'd be like, I can tell you because I don't know who she is. Yeah, yeah we don't know who um, she is it either. Actually, it's super sad. Aww. So. 
I mean, I'll tell you what it is, but yeah, yeah. Um, the message that I got from this woman, this yeah. random stranger in the grocery store was that she had just had a miscarriage. Oh, oh man. wow. And when I looked up, because I was looking at the ground when I, when I heard it, and when I looked up, she was, she was staring right at me. And I was like, oh, no, not right now. <laughs> wow. Wow. So uh, how, how, what's the conversation with the kids like as far as, well, hey, guys, this is kind of what mommy does. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're in the know. Uh, what, what's, what's their take on and, what it is that you do? And to compound that, do your children also have the gift after you answer his question? So my kids do know what I do. Okay. Um, at first, they used to tell everyone, all of our neighbors. I would too. To dead yeah. people. I would too. They say, my mommy talks to dead people. I'm like, oh, stop. <laughs> that what, did not help their, you with the ages? neighbors. What are their ages? <laughs> right. They're, now all the neighbors are afraid of me. Right. <laughs> what, what are the ages? <laughs> they are nine and ten. Okay. Oh, that's the best. They're, all right. They're, yeah. they're sharing yeah, with so the world. <laughs> they are bragging they, about you uh, not realizing well, yeah, the end result. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> there have been at times that I have been on client calls with, you know, People that I can't say their names. Yeah, okay. okay. And my daughter walks in. She's nine and she has Down syndrome. And she walked in and she goes, Mommy, I have to poop. And I was like, Oh, oh my God, not right now. <laughs> that <is> so funny. <laughs> that is, uh, yeah. Listen, yeah, so. regardless of what you do, being a mom always comes first, it right? Never it never stops. Right. It never stops. It never right. stops. And hey, you know what? It humanizes you with a client. You're like, Oh, She's got kids. She's down to earth, so it, it probably makes a better yeah. connection anyway. So, how did you meet yeah. your, your husband? Like, how did that work? As far as you married, right? Uh mm-hmm. huh. And yeah, how that was years ago, though. So it was like way before any of this like came. Ah, uh, okay. got you. Got so you. that's even better. So, what? Where is he at? As you are blossoming into the person you are now, was he kind of receptive to that, or was it a little? Was he a little taken back? Like. You know, what was I his think thoughts at on first it? everyone was taken aback because everyone was like, are you sure? You yeah. know, are you sure you're not just imagining things? Right, right. And of course. Then, yeah, it, it, first it was just really strange because I would wake up in the middle of the night and I'd wake him up and I would say, um, there are like 30 people standing in our bedroom. And he'd be like, what? <laughs> Whoa. You say 30 people? <laughs> you know, you know what? Like, I could just see people everywhere standing in the bedroom and you it know. would freak him out. <laughs> So I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, uh, yeah. whoa. Hey, I'd be like, hey, what, uh, what time is it again? Yeah, right. I'd be like, what time do these guys go to sleep? Because uh, <laughs> that could be weird. Uh, an audience. It is weird. I'd be an yeah. audience. Like, are you guys ever alone? So after that, <laughs> but after that comment and after that happened, so and obviously that happened more than once. So was he just, you guys had conversations and he was just like, this is great. Right? Or um, how do you take yeah, it? I think after a while, he became okay with it for the most part. Supportive. I'm not quite sure he knows how to handle it. <laughs> yeah. That's keeping it real, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, listen, that's, that's yeah. honest. And, I mean, and, it, and to be in all fairness, there yeah. was a, a large amount of time that I didn't know how to handle it. Yeah. Right. So it, it sort of but, reminds me of our uh, paranormal investigators. Uh, their husbands at first did not accept their, their jobs. Yeah. I mean, not saying you're a paranormal investigator, but something that's a little bit different. It's different. It's different. Mm -hmm. It's different. Yeah, Yeah, but we all believe that we want to be like supportive of whatever our significant other wants to do, right? But Mm -hmm. I think we're wired a certain way. So, like, when you just might, it's like, you know what? I want to do this, and it's all the way outside of what you could have envisioned. It wasn't. It was. It's not in that box. Yeah, it's not not in in that box. box. It's It's not in that comfort. You're like, uh, okay. Yeah. And then I'm here for you, baby. How do I tell my (laughs) how do how do I tell my 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 buddies about what my what my wife does? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And my, we have that car, that conversation quite often. Like, do they know what I do? Because don't do tell. I not, do I, should I not say anything? Don't yeah. say nothing. <laughs> don't say nothing. Right. You hear me? <laughs> no, that has to be like, no. You, there's no way. You got to be like the coolest person that they introduce and be like, hey. you know what I mean? If I hear that, I'm like, as soon as she starts showing those I'm like, checks, I'm like, tell them everything. Yeah, I'm right. I'm, <laughs> tell them everything. Right, right. Spread oh the word. Oh, my gosh. Spread the word. So did we want to ask To answer about- your previous question, okay. um, my kids are like me. I knew it. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. That is yeah. awesome. So how do you cultivate that? Do you cultivate that? Do you, what do you, like, when you do All I imagine is like the Professor Xavier School of Gifted. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, and she's like throwing apples and like catch it. Yeah. I don't even know your kid's name. Catch it, Sabrina. Yeah. Catch it. 
why you had to use Sabrina? I don't know. It just popped in my head. Like I was like Sabrina. I didn't. Want, I didn't want. To say, I like oh, that wait, show. Do we Netflix. Need to talk about Sabrina. I was like, I like I that was even a, that was a good show. I didn't see it on Netflix. I saw the original one. Sabrina was uh, the neighborhood witch. Yeah, yeah. I saw the original one. I didn't see the little girl one. I mean, the girl. Yeah. See, we're off topic right yeah, now. Yeah, we. That's, that's what we do. That's what we do, I'm man. Sorry. But. Did that's we, yeah, we do it. Did we so want to ask her about her mission statement? Because that mission statement is yes. Yes. yeah, yeah, absolutely, yes, 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 yes. serious business. Yeah, so. go so for it. This is how bad it is. I had to look down and say, "What's my mission statement?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's an awesome. Excellent mission statement, by the <laughs> it, way. As well, we we love it. It it really is. Like I read it several times. It uh-huh. is it is so well done. Um, and I guess we have to read it, right? Because the Boran's yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, Jeff, who's, you want to have him read it? Okay. Yeah, Jeff, yeah. you've got the sweetest voice. Right, yes, yeah, you've got to read it. Whatever. It's like uh, silky smooth. It. So it reads, apply your noble efforts with realistic expectations, release mm-hmm. fear, stop resisting or sabotaging due to fear of declining relationships, Woo. forgive your past, wow. embrace relationships by realigning your mindset and mm. repairing disconnect, wow. becoming connected to your soul center of emotional desires and needs. I, felt, I read that and I, felt I, that. Feel, I feel better. I, I do feel, too. I feel like, you know, I'm like, what have I been doing with my I can, life? I can like, write this, this down on my <laughs> wall and post it. I'm, I'm so serious. We're, I know, we're, I know we're, we're joking, but it, yeah. this, this mission statement carries, it, it carries a certain energy with it. It does. Um, how did you come up with this? What does this mean to you? Um, and 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 really, like, how did you come up with this, <laughs> dude? You know what is so crazy is the fact that she had a mission statement. I was just like, when I saw that, I was like, wow, because you know they do that for the, um, <clears throat> you know, the corporate world and and police police forces and whatnot. Yeah. So they all have these mission statements. So when I saw that, I was like, oh wow, this mm-hmm. this woman's got her stuff a game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, she does. So how did I come up with this? To yes. be quite honest. Every single thing I do when it comes to my business and my clients is channeled. Okay. Mm. That's wow. That's excellent. I allow it to flow through me the way it's meant to come out. Mm. Gotcha. You use a term that I find super interesting. You say uh, you received a download. And I, yes. and I think it's such a very yeah. interesting term because ultimately that's what it is, right? Like you're just kind of it's very modern, receptive. It's very modern. Whatever yeah. is coming your direction. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I guess. Do you ever have problems interpreting any of those downloads? Like, is, is this stuff that you get sometimes that maybe you got to chew the fat on it for a little bit um, to to gain some clarity, or is it or the way it works for you? Like you receive that download and you just you kind of get it. Sometimes. I mean, sometimes it's as easy as that. And then other times you sit back and you're like, now I have to play detective and figure out what the hell you're trying to tell me. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Because there are times I'll get a message through and I'm like, I have no idea what that means. Okay. Gotcha. You know. So so speaking of messages, do you get, um, I'm sorry, you did finish. I didn't want to cut you off. That's fine. Yes. All right. Cool. So speaking of messages, like the lady you got, you received in the, um, the grocery store that came random, randomly to you. Has has there ever been something so difficult that came through that the other person didn't know, like delivered bad news about a passing of someone or whatnot that you had to sit there and you you either choked on it, didn't tell them and let them discover it on their own, or you actually had to come through and and mention it to a loved one or whatnot? That's fairly personal, isn't it? But it's not. It's fine. And okay. the, so the way I have set my boundaries with the spirit world mm-hmm. is I don't want to know bad news. Because I'm, my job is to be the messenger, okay. and I refuse to deliver bad news because my job is to make people feel better about themselves, yeah. not to make them feel worse. Okay, gotcha. That is an excellent philosophy. I mean, even for a total stranger. You know what I mean? I'm a dig. Yeah, no. <laughs> even for a stranger. <laughs> right. Even for a stranger. I'm just saying, I'm asking for a friend. Right. Even for a stranger. No? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't even get those messages. Even for a fellow soccer mom or something? No? No. Nope. Oh, shucks. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. I tried. A little, little off topic, but do your tattoos have any messages? They do. I have a tattoo for my mom, and it says, uh, Mommy's Little Monster. I have one for my dad. That's, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> that explains a lot, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I have one for my dad. Yeah. Um, I actually don't have any for my kids. Okay. Okay. Well, there's still room on your arm. Yeah. Because you got a sleeve on the I know. right. I do have. Uh, yeah, I yeah. do have some space. So I guess I have to get on it. <laughs> got to do it. <laughs> Can't have them left out. Got to do it. Um, <laughs> you guys have any other questions? Well, her time. You know, we we um, we did swallow up a lot, lot of, of your day, and yeah, we so. are so thankful for your patience and your good energy, um, and sharing. You know, even some of uh, your tidbits. Even though I know you say every situation is different, I'm telling you. 
we live in a world of copycats. So somebody somewhere is writing down like those first six questions. Like, look, everybody, I could do what she do. So, um, but you just you've been excellent. You did really, really, I think you nailed it as far as a, just her being like a ray of sunshine. She is a ray of sunshine. Um, listen here, sunshine. Uh, did you get any? <laughs> do you get any downloads uh, on anyone? Um, did I get any downloads right now? Um, no, I didn't. Oh, okay, cool. So we're, we're good. We're, u- we're using our. We're using our. We, we have like aluminum foil. Right. Under our head. <laughs> we're, black, we're blocking, blocking it, and then we, we, it, we, right. we use it. That holy water, that holy water <laughs> works. We also learned this this, this, this chi blocking uh, method. We use that's it. That's it blocks it. our chi. So. That's it. We're, we're good. You know, I got a feel for like your personalities, but yeah. you know. And then I sometimes I sit back and I think, well, can can anyone feel that, or is it just me? Yeah, I, right. I think we all um, are capable of it. Like you said, it's, it's uh, we call it intuition and whatnot. And if we mm-hmm. sit there and develop. Some of it will be well, more. Some of us are more open to it than others, right? Mm-hmm. Um, just like some of us have special gifts than others, you know, athletically. <laughs> Sorry, Ray. I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't even want to look at you. Uh, I was about to say. I don't even want to look at you. No, because you know what? This, no, this, quick story. Know what did, that you, meant. did you feel that? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, quick story because no. What was it like last week? We talk, we talked to the phone. No, Ray. You follow basketball or any sports? Well, there's there's a point in sports where. The star becomes the role player. <laughs> so anyway, Ray was just telling me that he was playing basketball, and he told me that um, you know he just realized he's now the role player. There's nothing wrong with that. He's, he's not the guy that takes the last shot. He's the guy that passes the ball to the other guy to take the last shot now. So that, that was all. That was, that was, that's why I looked at you when I said athletically. Just, so you just, you just put looked, Ray out there for no good you. reason. It's okay. It's Listen, okay. I just looked my, at you. Like, huh? My time is coming and gone. That's I, it. I mean, I only play with my son anyway. So he, when I go play basketball now, yeah. it's mainly mainly to play with my son. And you know what? I asked you to invite me to that one time. You completely ignored it. I wonder why. <laughs> Your inv- the invitation is always open right. for you to come. But hey, right- you're reading that because you can see that lie, right? You feel that lie, the deception. Yeah. So just yeah, it's kind of like half hearted, right? That's right. what I'm saying. You feel it right. It's always open. Always open. Always I'm like, yes. oh really? Oh, when, when we were like that. Are we playing on Tuesdays? Right, right. Crickets. I won't hear anything. So Jess, how do people find you? Where to? Where can they? Find find you how did he reach out it's absolutely the easiest thing in the world it's jesse risley.com just nice risley yeah keep it simple keep it simple and she does keep it simple fellas i mean this if this is anything like how your consultation goes and how uh you deal with your clients i can see why you absolutely should have no problem success yeah exactly success and they can follow you on instagram too correct that is correct we have her instagram right there there, guys yeah right there there. jesse risley as i said it right you did. That's yes, it. Yes, it <laughs> Well, I think we were saying Risley before. I don't even know. We were trying to. We were trying to figure out. Was it <laughs> like, damn it, what is it? Like, bets. We were like, yeah, bets. I'll take Risley for two. We were like, let's, go, let's just let, <laughs> let Jess, you know, introduce herself. Yeah, no, exactly. That's, that's um, a safe way to do. It. Oh, Jess, why don't you say everything? You, but once again, uh, Jesse, thanks so. Thanks you once again. Been on we appreciate thank you so you. much for sharing your. Uh, thank you for evening with us. Really fun to be here. Hey, awesome! Thank you for your time. Tell your husband. Tell your daughters the gifted ones thank you for your time and yeah we'll definitely have you on again if you want to come on and tell us about your Absolutely. paranormal experience and i want you to record that's your homework i will that castle experience sounds like it's gonna be pretty and cool i will let you guys know i'd love for to come sure. back yes Absolutely. thank you so much thank you so much you have a great one okay all right you too thank right. you and you're welcome good night jesse bye bye, bye.